Liz Truss has come under fire for using a private plane to fly to Australia for a two-day trip. How bad was the flight for the environment? The Tory grassroots favourite is in hot water after it emerged she used a private government plane to fly to Australia at the cost of a staggering £500,000 to the British taxpayer. Instead of using one of the regularly scheduled flights from the UK, Liz Truss decided she wanted to use the government's Airbus A321 instead. The Foreign Secretary took the long-haul trip last week for an annual meeting with government officials in the country. Typically, an Airbus A321 would hold around 235 passengers, but the government plane is outfitted with VIP interior. The Foreign Office confirmed a total of 14 people took the flight, including Ms. Truss, her officials and security detail, and at least two sets of flight crew were required for the trip. The plane also made multiple stops to refuel on its way to Australia for Ms. Truss' two-day trip. The move has sparked backlash considering the well-documented environmental impact taking private flights has. How bad was the trip for the environment? The mission to Australia and back this week burnt an estimated 150 tonnes of fuel and generated nearly 500 tonnes of CO2, and cost the taxpayer £500,000. In a 2009 cost-cutting document Back to Black she co-authored, Ms. Truss wrote, Every public sector worker should feel personally responsibility for the money they spend and the money they save. They should spend taxpayers' money with at least the care they would give to their own. This change of mindset would be reflected in everyday changes such as traveling by economy rather than business class. When did Liz Truss fly to Australia? The private flight left London Stansted at lunchtime on January 18 headed for Dubai, only two hours after a scheduled public Qantas flight from Heathrow. After a 90-minute refueling stop in UAE, the Foreign Secretary and her team flew overnight to Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia, where it refueled once more. The private flight arrived in Sydney shortly after midnight on January 20, five hours after the same Qantas flight landed in southwest Australia. Thank <laughs> you.